Um, also, uh, you know, things that, uh, you know, that you probably can think about that we don't really know the answer to yet. Some people might say they know the answer, but until we see it, we don't know. Is if you think about in the Industrial Revolution, right, it, it created new jobs, right, and created a lot more jobs. Because when you wanted to build um, some type of machinery or some type of, uh, you know, build pretty much anything, you would need one spe super specialized skilled person to labor over for a really, really long time, right? But then once we got assembly lines and all this type of stuff like that, you might have 30 people working in a factory mass producing um, these items at like, you know, at top, you know, at a, at a rate that would have been impossible before. So when we think about that example, and then we think about technology we have available to us now when it comes to software, uh, it used to be uh, that you would need like a, a team of like 30 engineers in order to be able to build this, you know, complex software at a fast rate. But now if you have like a AI powered team with four or five people and, um, and a bunch of, uh, and a bunch of really good software, um, to help you make software, you can do, you know, you can have the same level of productivity that a 30 person team used to have. So that makes the companies more profitable, but then it means that there will be less net new, um, you know, jobs created. Um, with that, that fit into that same exact form, right? Still going to be plenty of jobs, technical jobs that exist, but they're not going to be in that exact same, uh, in the exact same form because we, you know, there will be people that do need 30 engineers, but that means they're building something bigger than, um, you know, than your normal business.